arrived. Hiya. Hi. <laughs> this little box, this quite big heavy box, contains three meals for two people. And it's the organic recipe box, the vegetarian recipe box. Oh yes. Go have oh. a look inside. Should we have a look inside? Should we have a look? This is interesting. Oh, things on the side, Unpack the cool bag into the fridge along with any green leafy veg. Okay. Store any root veg in a cool dark place. Okay. With a number of recipes suggested, suggest you make them in the order for freshness. Oh. Happy cooking. So the first recipe is today, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh god, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh look. We can get some ginger. Raisins. Mm. Oh, I like a bit of raisins. Oh, these are the recipes: mozzarella stuffed mushrooms, curried quinoa, and I think today's one. It's recipe one, and that's halloumi and vegetable kebabs. God, look at! Oh my gosh, look at it all. We've got mint, parsley mm -hmm. to hide this away from the rabbits because they will decide to. Oh, look that's at the this. chill bag. That's the chill bag. Oh, look, you come with little skewers. Skewers. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Oh. Ooh. What's in here, then? It's all water, so we keep them. So we keep them, yeah. The rabbits, oh, they'll chew them, maybe, actually. Oh, he's up knocky. So we got... Yeah. What's that? Halloumi. Halloumi, made in Sussex. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yogurt. Italian hard cheese. Mango chutney. Oh, yes. Cool. Oh, it's wool. Wool cool. Oh, it's wool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Please leave this bag with your box for us to collect and re reuse. Oh, okay. So they must like take the old bag, the box, box. And everything, and then it yeah. Oh, so it's cool. all recycled. Awesome. We will be making these. These are our ingredients that we need. That is a lemon, even though it looks like a lime. So, lemon. I love how like proper like homegrown like cucumbers are spiky and they feel spiky. But along with the courgettes as well. <laughs> like I said, we're going to be doing the cooking today. Both together we're going to try this out, aren't we? It's going to be really fun. Cucumber in the face. face. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with, with a cucumber, a cucumber. In the face. No, we're not. What's the thing called? Is it it's called a courgette <laughs> in your face. <laughs> Lime. The lemon in the face. Put the courgette in the face again. In the face. So we got to cook know. this in 500 milliliters of water and with stock. With our it vegetables. It looks like though. crispies. It does. It looks a little crispies. So we're gonna put this in there. We're gonna put that in there with 500 milliliters of boiling water, and then we're gonna pop the stock cube in there, and then we're going to do some other bits and bobs. Okay. This is literally new to me. This is so. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Vegetable kebabs. We just gotta put some oil on there and Ooh, stick them in the grill in the oven. Dancy, 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 dancy. Whatever this is, we need to put some oil in this now. Okay. So we're just gonna put some extra virgin olive oil. The recipe says olive oil, but we haven't got any. So. Just have to do. Oh. Perfect. And then we've got to um, grill these guys and then have the salad, and then we're all done. And we'll see you at the mm. end. to 
feed like two people. It's Yummy. Looks good, doesn't it? Looks good. Enjoy, Steffi. Mm. Yay. Thank you. Right, so we've just ate the halloumi kebabs, food, and I have to say, it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. The food was really good. It all went really well, and I actually ate the majority of it. I couldn't eat all the rest of the salad though, because it was just, I was quite full. It was easy to work, and you know, it was really good to make. And what did you think, Steffi? Pretty good. Looking forward to the others? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty full. <laughs> oh, I can't eat anymore. Can't eat no more. But I, I wouldn't have created something like that. It's been kind of fun because like the pair of us were kind of like, didn't know what we were doing. So it was kind of nice that we were working together. So right now we're going to do some videos. We're going to do a couple of recordings of videos and then we will catch you guys in a bit. See you in a moment. Oof. So all done with recording. We've just recorded a challenge. I'm gonna show you something right now. Look at the state of everything. Look at the state. Uh, it's a little bit late now. It's about 11 o'clock. So I'm gonna try and update this. I should have done this earlier. I know, but things got busy. All right, things got busy. Real life situations. It's crazy. So if you didn't know, we did the cracker challenge, which was to eat three crackers, one after the other, in 60 seconds. And whoever eats the most wins. Yeah, that, that video is now up now. So if, you, if you've never heard of it before, go and check it out. It's on our Ride Challenge uh, playlist. Or it might appear up in the right-hand corner, wherever the right-hand corner may be. I think it's there. It's always the opposite. But a funny thing about it is we actually did we actually did two attempts at this the first attempt we forgot to uh, put the we forgot to put the mic on it takes a lot to do that challenge it takes an awful lot and then when you actually come to edit it and then realize i haven't actually got any audio we had to do it again so me who won that first round didn't count unfortunately i'm editing something right now on this because it was quite comical. If you've not watched the challenge video already, when you do, make sure you wait till the very end because I'm going to do a little, little, nice little thing. Because to be honest, our first attempt is actually quite hilarious and actually watching it while it's silent, it's quite funny. So I'm going to pop it in there. A little fun, little, little cheeky outtake thing, we should call it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. So we shall see you tomorrow or in the next few seconds. Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And we are making food. It's another recipe box today. Mm. Um, it's called... Curried quinoa. Quinoa, yes, with spinach, eggs, and sorrel re... 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 So, re raita. Raita. It's gonna be really exciting. That food last night was amazing, wasn't it? It was so good yesterday. Super, super fun. Super and it fun. filled me up like so much. Couldn't believe how much food was there. And it was so yummy. I have a feeling that this one's gonna fill us as well. You reckon? Oh, look how much spinach. <laughs> look how much spinach there look is. Look how much there is. I do love the like individual bags. I know. Grown for flavour. So this is our ingredients. What's these? What's these? What's these? These are black onion seeds. Oh, black onion seeds. Never heard of them. Never heard of them. <laughs> got mango chutney, got some organic free range hen eggs. There are eggs from the Orca farm from the South Devon coast. Jerry has a farm organically since 95 and the welfare of his hens is top priority. Got a lot of pans. Yeah, this one I've been reading the recipe and it looks like you need a lot of stuff. We've got to cook the, we've got to cook the quinoa. We've got a cook the eggs. We've got to toast some un uh, nuts. A lot of stuff going on. Mm. So. And guess what? Dave Dave missed uh, Wolfgang Puck on this morning today. Oh uh, yeah, I, I overslept. How to make good steaks. The pan is really good. And I was like, oh god, I love Wolfgang Puck. So I'm gonna have to rewatch that on catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get cooking, huh? Get cooking. Cause I'm starving. <laughs> Let's all be an onion. Let's all be an onion. Let's all be an onion. Let's all strip the onion. Let's all strip the onion. Na, 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 na. Put 
on your eyes. Don't put your fingers on your eyes, please. It'll make it right. It's like chilli. Oh my god. Oh, it's so strong. Oh, I've not cried in a long time with onions. Chilli in the face. Eat the chilli. Eat the chilli. I've done that before. Eat the chilli. Do you remember the last time I did that before? <laughs> Me, it's like a nose. <laughs> I'll do that. But... <laughs> I have never seen a spinach leaf this size. Off it all goes into the pan. I wonder if this farm might um, actually have any like any herbs go into waste that my bunnies could eat. It's always the case with farms, they always give you like scraps of stuff for your pets and all this stuff. Yeah, that's true. If you're watching, if you've got any any herbs that you know you're gonna throw away, the bunnies will eat them. They'll they'll like them. We'll have them. Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember that big pile of spinach? There you go. And that is the curried quinoa. And we kind of soft boiled the eggs. Yeah, we don't like our No. Eggs. So it looks a bit of a mess, but it's, uh, it's, gonna, it's good. It's going to taste good. Yummy, yummy, and I think this might be another success. I say that was successful. The only problem is, is now, oh, uh, gotta wash all this up. Mm. Alrighty, so it's now half seven in the evening. I'm going to now go to the gym. I'm gonna go to my very first lesson, like exercise lesson with other people. And I'm a little bit like, I'm a little bit anxious, really. I don't know how to feel, because I've not done it in a very long time. And, I, I, and I'm going to go to um, a session called Tabata, which is a real high intensity um, exercise and I'm really scared that everybody else is going to be fitter than me and I'm just going to be like, oh after 20 minutes I'm going to die, but I've been reassured that I'll be okay. I will see you pretty much in a few seconds, so this is the before, I'll see you soon. <laughs> and now I'm back. It wasn't too bad was it? <laughs> I'm not as I'm not as sweaty as I was before. Literally, like the sweat was just dripping onto apparatus and stuff, and I was just like, ah. And you know when sweat just drips off your nose and lands on the floor, and you feel like everybody's watching, like ew. But no one was watching. Everybody else was exactly the same. It was actually really good fun. It really was. It actually wasn't that bad. And the people who I was with kind of was on the same level as me, you know, fitness level. So it was all right. We're all in it together. It's a nice little session. I think I might do that every Wednesday night, I think now. In fact, I actually find it a little bit cheaper than actually having a PT session because there is only a, a limited amount of people that can actually go to these sessions. I think it's quite good value. I think it's like only five pounds for the 45 minutes and you pretty much get the same workout sort of thing as, a, as you're having a one-on-one -on -one PT. So I would say I would recommend that if anybody is thinking of doing any classes, if your gym or your fitness center does Tabata, I, I would really strongly agree with it. <laughs> it's kind of similar to Insanity, but you know, you do have a few more breaks in between each one and it's not just one after the other. You know, like a crazy person. I've tried Insanity before and it is just nuts. It's nuts. It's crazy. It's not for the faint hearted and it's not even for like, uh, it's just crazy. Um, I'm going to try and get Dave to go to one because um, they were wondering where Dave was and uh, yeah, he decided to work today. I think that was his way of escaping. It's now half nine. Dave's finishing in a bit, I think. I'm just gonna go and wind down now. Probably have a shower because I stink and I'm very sweaty and I need to do some washing because I've got a, I've got a session, I've got a PT session tomorrow at 2.30. Just gonna have to get ready for that. So in the meantime, we're gonna sign off. See you tomorrow or see you in the next few seconds. Good afternoon. Hi. Time for another meal. 
Amazon. I've just gone back from the gym. I'm really sweaty now. I feel really gross. This week is just food week, isn't it? Food! It's just feds. a food vlog this week. It's feds. Because we've got... We're prepping for other things, like the colour run. Oh, which yeah. Which we probably already... Well, we would have already done when this comes out. It's quite a short week today, so we just kind of crammed a few few evenings in one vlog. So should we get on with it? What we got? What we got? What we got? Stuffed portobello mushrooms mm -hmm. with uh, gnocchi and pesto. Nice. And the tomato, uh, sorry, the mushrooms are stuffed with uh, mozzarella and tomatoes. Oh. Basil or basil. Tomato or tomato. Basil or basil. Italian hard cheese. Portobello mushrooms. Mozzarella. No. Gnocchi. And some garlic. Yes. And a lime. Lemon. Lemon. It's this a green lemon. This isn't actually a green lemon. I, we thought these were limes, when in actual fact, they're not the actual lemons. Because lemons are, are they naturally green? Yeah, they're naturally green, but they change yellow because of the temperature, the drops. Oh. And it's around the season when they're being harvested. Learn something new every day. Oh yeah. Mm, let's get prepping. a little tub because the big processor can't make it smoother so we're going to put it in a little processor now. So gnocchi with stuffed mushrooms, mozzarella and tomatoes, and it's going to look good. I'm looking forward to this one. You're hungry. Mm -mm. Hello everybody. So we just finished our food mm. and it looked and tasted amazing. Mm. Did you like it? It was very, very yummy. So, so far we're actually really impressed with mm. these boxes. I've never really had like organic food. I've eaten it on the off chance because it's like a cheaper or you know. Yeah, exactly. But to actually try these meals out and you can definitely taste a difference yeah, you, can you can taste a difference and you can see a difference as well mm. especially with garlics and onions they are so strong so much stronger because we i mean compared to the the garlics that we have in you know that we buy from the supermarket mm. in a big bag we have to put a load of cloves in because it's not strong enough yeah, like, and then we like opened them. like one of the cloves the the, the bulbs of garlic the organic ones and it was just like whoa so strong. strong yeah i really like them yeah and we're, we're, we're carrying on with it but this one we're going for a non-vegetarian one it's like well there is there's a different there's different boxes so we're trying mm. the different bonds so we're going to look forward to that i believe that you can request certain things so whether or not we can actually contact them and say yeah. hey can we just have a low-fat yogurt instead of yeah full fat you know that's the only thing that i think the only gripe yeah yeah, yeah sure is th there are some some meals on there and they're like what they're quite highly um mm. fatty and kind of fit but you know th that's only a few of them it's only yeah. a really small amount but yeah so we're going to carry on with these sort of boxes yeah and we're not sponsored no don't worry. Has hashtag not sponsored, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> if, only, if only we were but hey hey but um we are going to sign off now mm. aren't we? we've had an amazing week Mm. So we've been really busy. State of my air right now. Mine as well. It's been a busy week. We've got to now pack for Manchester. Manchester. Manchester, we which we're looking forward to. Yeah. And you will be seeing our colour run videos yeah. next week. Exactly. So, so have that look forward to. Yes, so we'll see you guys on the next Fit for Florida vlog. Bye! Bye!